Hi everyone, we're here today with uh, Tori on the floor. Hi Tori, how are you today? Hi, you good. In your football career, you have played for 10 different clubs. Um, at which one did you enjoy the most? Your time I think there. I would have to say Chelsea. That was a great time. Uh, played with some very, very good players and um, we, uh, we had success as well. So uh, I think I would say Chelsea. Yeah. Which club you didn't enjoy your time the most at? I don't think I, I didn't enjoy my time anywhere. Um, I played for some, some great, great clubs actually. And uh, I'm glad I played, played for all of them. Not everybody went as well on the pitch as I was hoping, but um, I'm really glad, really, I played for all of my clubs. You spent a, a short time at Sunderland. Mm. Are you surprised for them going down to Championship and now going down to League One? Yeah, they are a big club. Um, but these this happens from time to time, even with big clubs. So um, I am pretty sure that Sunderland will bounce back and come, come back stronger. Um, I think some, sometimes it could even be a good thing. They they, they get together and um, know that they really have to uh, to work together and to, to get back up again. And I'm sure they will. Another team that you have played in England is Leeds United. Are you not? Are you sad that they haven't came back to the Premier League for such a long time? Yes. Uh, I would wish that they could come back to the Premier League. They are a big club, a great club. Uh, which um, belong really in the Premier League and uh, same with them, I'm sure they, they one day they will made it, make it and um, hopefully that will be soon. Moving on to the national team of Norway, how much is Norway missing from this year's World Cup in Russia? I think we're not that far behind. Um, uh, I think uh, we, we've been close to qualify but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I do think there are some youngsters coming through and um, soon I think we have a good chance to qualify for these championships again. What is Norway missing from the other Scandinavian teams? I don't know, Norway is quite um, a small populated country, um, so there will be generations that are better than others. Um, but they are working hard in Norway to um, to make the talent into, into good footballers in, uh, at senior level as well, and um, I think uh, I think that will come through soon. We saw uh, the manager Lars uh, Lagerbach what he did for Iceland at the Euros. Mm. Is he the right manager, and can he do the same for Norway? I definitely think so. Yeah, he's uh, he's proven that he is um, a, a very good manager. He can take smaller teams to to big championships, and um, yeah, why not? I think he can do that with Norway as well. Uh, Norway are in the same group as Bulgaria, Cyprus and Slovenia for the UEFA Nations League. Mm. What are your chances of winning it and what do you think about the teams that you'll be facing? I think there's a good chance for Norway to do really well in that one. Um, they could just as well win, win it, uh, I think, so um, in, in that group. Um, if they play at their best, they, they definitely got a good chance, I'm, I'm sure. Can you tell us a bit more about each opponent? What should Norway be expecting against Bulgaria, for example? Oh, uh, I wouldn't be able to go into details about that with those teams. Um, I don't follow football that, that closely. Uh, so, um, but I'm sure they, they, they have their good players in those teams as well. They're players that the, the national team would look out for and that they would, do, they would prepare themselves properly. What are Norway's chances against Bulgaria? I think that should be good. Um, the first that, match is in Sofia, of course. Oh uh, yeah, but as I said, I, I wouldn't know that much about Bulgaria, so um, I wouldn't really know. But um, I would have thought Norway's got a good chance. Martin Odegaard, a player with a lot of talent and potential, currently struggling to make it. Oh, yeah. Going back into your career, who was the toughest defender that you have faced? Oh, there's been a lot of them. Um, I think here in England, uh, Yap Stam and Martin Keon were very tough when I played in the Premier League at that time. Um, other than that, uh, in Italy, uh, Materazzi was very strong. And yeah, there's been a lot of, a lot of good ones. A one that Canavaro, you, I think. Canavaro. Yeah. A one that you were scared or you disliked 
knowing that you'll be facing him? No, no, not really scared, but those those guys I mentioned, you you knew that you had to play at your best if you want to if you want to have a good game and then get past those those guys that were strong and, and quick most of them. Moving on to the Champions League final, who do you think will be the crown who will be crowned as a champion? Real Madrid or Liverpool? That's a difficult one. Um, Maybe it's time for an English team to win this one, so maybe uh, maybe Liverpool this time. <laughs> and my last question is, your favourites at the World Cup, apart from Norway not being uh, there? Yeah. <laughs> I, I always think it's difficult to predict, but I, I always think that Germany would be strong, Spain, Brazil, um, the usual ones, France probably would be good. What about England's team? England. Uh, How far can they go? I think they can go far. Uh, maybe, maybe difficult to win the whole thing, but you never know. You never know.